This series of videos will explore and explain the process of creating Swarthmore College's third green roof. Located on the roof of Kemp Hall, this green roof is 7,000 square feet and consists of five different levels. This design was created by Peter Philippe of Green Roof Services. Four of the five levels are designed as extensive green roofs. Extensive green roofs usually include a thin layer of soil medium and a vegetative cover of a synthetic membrane that will protect the roof. The vegetation needs to be adapted to moist and drought because of the medium's depth. It will not include tr shrubs or trees. Intensive roofs usually include a fairly thick growing media of a foot or more and may contain trees or shrubs. Kemp Hall will feature semi-intensive sections with a layer of growing media 8 to 10 inches thick, planted with grasses and perennials throughout the lowest level of the five-level roof. This area will be viewed from a third-floor lobby or several dorm rooms in Kemp Hall. Green Roof Tour attendees will be able to view this part of the roof from a paved area accessible through a small door access point to the roof. Visit our website to see our schedule of Green Roof Tours. There are many benefits to installing a green roof. It is estimated that a green roof alone can help retain 50 to 90 percent of rainfall, the percentage changing with the amount of rain in a given time frame. Currently, sedum is the most effective plant at quickly absorbing rainwater. They soak up the most water April through August when they are actively growing. It is important to note that the soil medium also plays a major role in rainwater absorption. Another benefit can be found in energy savings. The college's second green roof on Alice Paul Hall allows for an estimated annual average savings of 18%, the average for a three-story building. The energy saving can reach 29% with a two-story building and as much as 79% with a one-story building. Green roofs allow for peak energy use to move from four to nine hours later. And this is significant in that the energy to run an air conditioner is not being drained while energy in other units in traditional buildings are in full use. Green roofs also extend the life of a roof membrane up to two to five times that of a typical roof. An extensive green roof is expected to last 30 to 50 years because it, it is protected from ultraviolet light and moderates temperature extremes. Initially, a green roof is more expensive due to engineering and installation costs. Over time, it pays for itself as it lasts longer and provides energy savings. It also provides habitats for birds and insects, sequesters carbon dioxide and other pollutants, purifies the air, produces oxygen, and returns moisture and coolness to the air through evaporation.